survivors, some evidence of Buford. So it must be that UFO that came in a month ago under a radar blind spot. And if it stayed underwater, it would escape deterioration in the Earth's atmosphere. They could even have slipped in a special underwater craft in component sections. Possibly. They seem to have perfected life maintenance in a liquid environment. Right. So what do we do next? A detailed search of the entire area. I'll go myself. In skydiver? What else? Well, wouldn't you rather I took over? Oh, that. Well, the uh, dictionary defines it as a morbid dread of confined spaces. Skydiver's not all that small. And you're not always morbid. Exactly. Get me Skydiver's positional chart. Yes, sir. It's in the South Atlantic area, about 400 miles south of St. Helena. Is there a rendezvous point there where we could exchange a sub-cruise? Well, there are dozens of small atolls in the area, mostly uninhabited. Good. I want to be aboard with the best available sub-crew as soon as possible. Skim, pull ahead first. Right. 
I'm needed below, sir. My cabin is at your disposal. Thank you, Captain. Maintain seas come until we reach search area. Yes, sir. We'll find anything? Well, it's hard to say. But the more I think about it, the more the theory stands up. Well, we know they've taken people from houses in broad daylight. You mean it'd be a lot easier mid-ocean? Right. It's a big place to play cat and mouse. Yes, but we'll just have to make sure that our claws are well sharpened. How do you mean? Well, we're trying to find them. Let's hope that the aliens don't think that we're the mouse. Approaching B-17, sir. Right, plot a search pattern. Yes, sir. Lieutenant? Sir? I want a constant radar sweep and sonar sounding. Yes, sir. Straker. We're making the first sweep on the surface, sir. And we'll be going under for a submerged second. Right. Carry on, Captain. Let's make the most of the fresh air. Starting vector search. Course 019, veering to 023. Decreasing sweep on 14 degrees port. Right. Maintain the watch, Colonel. I'm going below. Right. Have you ever used this? I ask if you would ever use the escape hatch, Lieutenant. Yes, sir, in training. Our navigator, Lewis, he's the one you want to talk to about those. Oh, never mind. Just familiarizing myself with the ship. Yes, sir. Nina? Fine, sir. What is it? Large shoal of fish. Sonar is our best bet. Well, you're the expert. It's a tight ship, Captain. Thank you, sir. Sonar echo increasing. What do you make of it, Lieutenant? Metallic object. I'm moving quite fast. 60 knots. How far? 2,000 yards increasing. Get below, Colonel. I'm taking it down. Dive! 
What is it? An underwater craft, sir. Moving ahead of us. Altering course. Veering to starboard. Eight degrees. Eight degrees starboard. Eight degrees starboard, sir. Switch on underwater cameras. Visibility pause, sir. Rock formations. Lost it. Don't help. Lieutenant Chin. Main system still operating. Right surface. Blow tanks one and two. Blowing one and two. Looks bad. Let's get him down below. Easy. <laughs> Malfunction on one. Keep trying those tanks. Hold it! Shut down ballast! That was a starboard turbine. Commander, I'm getting a new signal. Coming back to finish the job. away toward the surface. Can we launch Sky One? We can try. All right, Paul. Alien craft airborne. Pull it up, Paul. It's no good. What's its attitude? 10 degrees. It's enough. Launch Sky One. Lift off. Roger. Sky 
have one airborne, sir. Sky under control. Come in, Skydiver. Contact lost, sir. We're going down. Turbine's non-functional. Shut down the reactor. Yes, sir. Prepare to switch to emergency power. We're still going down. Emergency power. Crash positions. Control. Overflying last known position. Still no radio contact. Wreckage apparent. Redocking negative. Roger, Sky One. Proceed to nearest shadow base. Starting sub smash procedure. Roger. getting a warning alarm from the reactor, so the radiation shield must be okay. Well, that's something. At least we're not gonna die from radiation exposure. Right. Well, by now, Sky One will have reported our position, so a rescue team will be on its way. Now, we all know the standing orders regarding the sub-smash, so if we just follow them, we'll be all right. Well, let's get to it. Colonel Foster, the air systems and electrics. Sir. Lieutenant Lewis. Sir. Check sir. the ballast tanks and, and also the escape hatches. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Barry, let's see what shape our communications are in. Yes, sir. How are you feeling, Chin? I'll be all right, sir. Good, good. We're going to need you. Listen, uh, do you feel up to going to stern with me and checking the turbines? Yes, sir. Good. You know, we may get this old tub off the shelf before the rescue team gets here. Yes, sir. Albatross 25 to shadow control. We have positive area location on Skydiver Beacon. Homing on signal now. Roger, Albatross. Another 50 minutes. What do you think? No way of telling, sir. Sub smashes are always difficult. I better check things out in the cabin. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be there in less than 50 minutes. What do you think their chances are? Hard to say. By the time we get there, it could be sitting on the surface, waiting for us. That's not likely, is it? Wreckage. Till we get there, sir. It's anyone's guess.
Nearly through here, Commander. How are things astern? Not good. One turbine completely blown, and there's some damage to the reactor cooling plant. Well, that means we can forget the main power supply. How long will the emergency storage batteries last, Chin? The meters register eight hours, and we can't recharge without the reactor. How about the air supply, Paul? Well, it's impossible to be accurate, but uh, I estimate there's enough air for eight hours. About the same as the batteries. What's the story on our communications, Lieutenant? Main radio knocked out, sonar and radar working. The hydrophone on the marker boy is active, but the power is weak. Lieutenant Lewis. I hope you got some good news for us on those escape hatches. Well, there's only one of them operational, sir, number three hatch. And that's got trouble. Well, it, it's working, but the systems check indicates damage. In addition, there's something wrong with the pumps. I reckon it'll take upwards of 90 minutes to empty that hatch. One escape hatch in commission, and that's only usable every 90 minutes. What about the missile tubes? Oh, no go, Commander. The, uh, the ship's angle rules them out. The rock ledge is blocking the exits. Looks like number three. See what you can do about fixing up those pumps. And double check on those hatches. Yes, sir. Paul, I'll be in the captain's cabin. speed out of this thing? Not without blowing our engines to pieces. You know Commander Straker pretty well, don't you? Yes. Pretty well. Checked it again, sir. It looks pretty bad. Well, we'll have to start making for the surface. Now, we've got to phase this pretty carefully. We're working with very little air and practically no time. I'm a bit worried about the outer door on three. There's indication of severe damage. What about the pumps? Well, still no improvement. With the reactor off, the power's very low. What do we tell the crew? Forget it. They figured it out for themselves already. Now don't worry, Nina. We'll get out all right. You've been in this situation before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, it was a big boat. Full crew, 69 men trapped on the bottom, but we all got out. And we will this time, too. All right. Let's go over the situation. Now, there's only one regular escape hatch still working, but its pumps are damaged, as well as its outside door. But there is another emergency escape route through the crash dive flood tube. But once its covers are blown, it can't be drained unless skydiver surfaces. So that means that we can only use it once. That tube is pretty narrow, sir. It's some crawl. Yes, I know that, Lieutenant, but it means that two of us will get out immediately. Now, that will leave three of us down here. 
But if it takes 90 minutes to empty the hatch each time, we can all be out of here in four and a half hours. Now, are there any questions? You said four and a half hours, Commander, but at best the air can last only... You're forgetting one thing, Lieutenant. The fewer people there are down here, the longer the air will last. Have you decided on an order of escape, sir? Yes, I have. Lieutenant Barry, you will use the crash dive tube. Yes, sir. Lewis? Sir? You'll have first crack at the escape hatch. But, sir... That's an order. Lieutenant Chin will follow you in the escape hatch. And then Colonel Foster. All right, let's get to it. Anina. The uh, crash dive tube is the safest way out. But it won't be easy. When we throw the control and the water comes in, it'll hit you like a sledgehammer. Yes, sir, I know. I used it once during training. Good, good. It'll only last for a second, and then you'll be okay. I'll manage. All right, well, the sooner you get out of here, the more air will be for the rest of us. There's no chance of our surface vessel getting to the area ahead of us. Forget it. She's five hours away. We're on our own. Well, there's only a slight swell. We'll be able to handle it. All set. Good. Synchronized watches. 15.50. Check. Check. Now we'll blow the hatch in five minutes, Lieutenant. Good luck. Thank you, sir. See you topside. Right, Lewis. Yes, sir. Well, I hope you make it. We will, Lieutenant. Flood three. flooded, sir. Check. Negative. Must be jammed.
It's opened. He's made it. Nina should be in position now. Prepare to detonate in 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Detonate. Well, they should be up by now. going to get our door key, aren't we, sir? Sure, Chin. How's the head? Well, I'll be fine when I get up to the surface. Sure, sure. Hey, just hang on, Chin. Rescue team will be here in no time. Yes, sir. What are his chances? You won't last 10 minutes in the water without help. Straker. Ed, it's me. Alec. Thank God. We've got Lewis. What did you say? I said we've got Lewis. He's quite safe. He's explained the situation. Now look, Ed, just hang on. Alec, have you got Nina? Nina? No. She went out right after Lewis. Well, don't worry, don't worry. We'll get her. We'll find her. Look, Ed. You've got to conserve your air supply. Now just rest and stay as quiet as possible. The divers are coming down now. They'll get you up. Alec. Alec. Power is failing. I'll check the escape pumps. They're slowing down.
right now. That's right, relax, Lieutenant, relax. Stop him, Paul! never worried me before. Right now, I'm scared. You're getting older. How do you mean? The older you get, the more precious life becomes. You become aware of what life is. Colonel Foster, get off this boat. Commander. You're breathing my oxygen. In you go.
How does it look? She's jammed fast, sir. The only certain way of moving her is by heavy lifting gear. But we need the salvage vessel for that. Is there any way we can get an air supply down there? Negative. I was hoping to use the escape hatch, but it's still flooded. The bombs must have packed up completely. It's hopeless. You'll have to go down there again. And get me a suit, will you? Sir. What are you going to do? I don't know. But we're going to get him out of there somehow. Send out some more lights. Right. Air pressure. Fall. Oxygen count. Down to one five point one. Emergency power failing. Command. It had to be anyone. I'm glad you're here. I mean, I'm, I'm glad. It's you. There 
before. Committed ourselves to the deep. And we turned into corruption. Waiting for the day of resurrection. When the sea shall give up her dead. believe it <laughs> so that's the way it happened <laughs> you mean to say you just blew us out of the water well what else could oh. we do holden came up with the idea and with skydiver off the ledge the divers got in through the missile tubes and that's the way it happened i'm afraid the visitors will have to leave now oh i'm sorry sir no smoking well back to the salt mines bye oh uh, thanks for the cigars alec Well, Nina, we were pretty close down there. Yes. If there was anything I said which, uh, well... Or didn't say? That's what life's all about, I guess. The things we never say. Well, they're kicking me out of here this afternoon. I better go and pack my toothbrush. You'll be back on moon base in a week or so. Take it easy, Nina. Bye. Thank you.